The first step is to ensure that the system is not powered on. Then we place the SD card containing the new databases into the bottom SD card slot of the MFD. Now we can apply power to the system. And then on a GTC, select Utilities, Setup, and then Database Status. Monitor the sync status on the database status screen. You will see an indication showing the time remaining in the process. Wait for Sync Complete to be displayed. The load is complete when Database Sync Complete appears at the top of this screen. If the databases you just uploaded are the current cycle, a cyan double arrow should appear between the standby and active columns to show which standby databases will be transferred to active at the next power cycle. Note, if the databases are uploaded prior to their effective dates, you can now either shut the system down or go flying with your current databases. The transfer of the newly uploaded databases to active status will occur when they reach their effective date. When the sync process is complete, the system should prompt you to restart your system. After the system starts, go to the GTC's database status page and verify that the standby database or database is transferred and are now in the active database column. Again, if your existing databases were not expired, the newly uploaded databases will remain in the standby position until they are effective. With the database uploaded, you can remove the SD card from the slot of the MFD, or you can leave it there if desired. A couple of things worth noting here are that you should never disconnect power to the system when loading a database. Power interruption during the database loading process may result in database file corruption, and it may be necessary to have maintenance performed to reboot the system. Consider the use of an external power unit for your aircraft during large file uploads, 